So this is what actually may happen. So you have the situation that it's broken down here by DPP4, but it acts here. So that has consequences for what we need to measure when we want to measure secretion. Because what really happens is that these neurons are activated by the active GLP-1. But this GLP-1, which is active here, is degraded here. So what are you supposed to measure when you do this? You're, of course, supposed to measure the metabolite. Because the metabolite that is formed here active here. So if you want to know about secretion, you're interested in measuring the metabolite because the intact hormone is gone. If you want to measure activity of GLP-1, you also want to measure the metabolite because it already acts on the afferent sensory neurons. 